Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I create this makeup. This is a pretty simple makeup, an everyday makeup, an office makeup, a like 10-15 minute makeup. Uh, it's very, very beginner friendly. Uh, it took me so long because I am just uh, talking through you guys and you know that I love to talk. <laughs> so first, I've already primed my uh, skin. Uh, I used my artistry moisturizer. This is a moisturizer, a protecting lotion with SPF 15. Never ever start to make a makeup without priming your skin. Priming is does not mean that you need to use a primer uh, which is uh, which has the name primer. Uh, you can very uh, well use your moisturizer, a good moisturizer to prep your skin. Look what happens. Uh, when you want to paint your walls, you need to prep the walls with that uh, special lotion in order to get the painting stick to the wall and, uh, and uh, to have that uh, very beautiful, blended, neat finish. Uh, this is uh, this is the way that it works in uh, makeup too. So you have to prep the skin in order to have a very very nice finish. I'm gonna use my Artistry Youth Extend foundation in shade uh, L1 N1 Bisque. I'm gonna use just two pumps and I'm gonna put it on my face with my fingers spread it with my fingers because I find that this is the the easiest way to spread this product I love it because it has a very very light texture maybe right now this is not uh, not my perfect shade because because now that it's it's becoming summer my skin gets a little tanned and it's a little bit more darker shade than usual Okay, and now I'm gonna tap the product with a damp sponge. Uh, always use a beauty blender damp. Never, never use a beauty blender dry because uh, what's gonna happen? It's gonna absorb all the product and it's it's a waste of product and, and uh, uh, it is not gonna have that... Um, beautiful finish that uh, flawless effect right so with a damp sponge i'm going to tap and dab the foundation into my skin very lightly spread it over my neck too because i don't want to and over my ears because i don't want to have that that mask effect I give a special attention to my hairline too because these are the places where the makeup can be detectable if we do not make a good job I try to never um, pull the product because uh, that way uh, it will crease, it will uh, leave marks, those uh, stretch marks. That's why for my foundation I like to use a beauty blender to even everything out. Okay, next step. I want to contour my face. Uh, I love... Uh, a cream contour I will use this one this is from artistry Stu studio 
and I will use this shade. This is uh, originally um, foundation. <laughs> this is in shade Shibuya Medium Deep. And I'm going to use this with this kind of brush. This is an angle brush. It, it's a Zoeva brush 127, Lux Sheer Cheek. Okay, now where do you need to put that uh, that uh, contour? Uh, if you have, if you look in a mirror and if you see this cheekbone, so uh, I know that all the magazines and all the influencers and uh, everyone tells you that you need to suck your cheek, your cheeks like this <laughs> and then apply the the contour well i don't think that uh, this is a this is the way you should do it because what happens when i suck my my cheek you see i i go right under my face is going to drop if i'm going to uh, accentuate that shape right here what i want is to do is to lift my face with with the contour uh, and I want to uh, give to correct my face right <laughs> so I don't want it to drop even more so where I'm going to put this uh, contour is right under the bone which is right here okay and I'm going from from my hairline and I am going to apply it just right here so I'm I, I'm going to stop right here I'm not entering even more because that is going to to lock my face to make it like a skeleton right and we don't want that okay and now i'm working the product i'm blending it beautifully okay okay do you see the difference okay and because this is a, a an everyday makeup we don't want to exaggerate or go uh, very crazy with the <laughs> contouring or with the shades. Uh, what I can say is uh, you need to use a shade which is uh, appropriate for your skin because otherwise it is not going to look natural it is going to look like you know what i mean <laughs> okay right now this may seem that i put a lot of product but uh, what i have now is just creamy texture right but always 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 you need to set the creamy texture with a powder a setting powder otherwise it's gonna just fall off your face okay now i'm going to use a concealer artistry exact fit perfecting concealer in shade light and i'm going to apply it under my eyes and this inner corner I want to highlight I want to give luminosity to those to those places where I have dark circles but 
I do not apply too much product because I don't want it to crease in those little wrinkles. I extend it with my fingers and then I will finish it with a damp beauty blender. Now with the damp beauty blender, this is a small one. I love it because it's more precise than the for this uh, for this part of the yeah and you need to do you have to do that sexy face when you are doing your <laughs> your eyes like this <laughs> now i'm going to set my my creamy products with for that i'm going to use artistry exact fit perfecting loose powder and this is in shade light it comes with this little sponge but and it looks like this i'm applying it with this kind of brush under my my uh, eyes uh, be sure that when you apply powder under your eyes, there is no creasing because if you, there is no concealer crease because if you apply the powder on the creasing, it will uh, accentuate all your little lines and wrinkles. Okay, now I'm setting it with powder. You saw that I used a very, very small amount because I don't want to have that mask effect and that layered effect. I want to have a very natural effect. I'm gonna apply right in the corner of my nose because this is where I tend to get greasy in, in uh, my T-zone. So this is where I where I need to set my my makeup. Okay, and now I'm going to take a a bigger brush. This is one o six powder brush from Zoeva. I'm going to set my my makeup on my face with this loose powder. I take it a bit on on my neck as well. And what is left on the brush, I brush it over my eyelids as well. And now you see that my contouring became more more natural uh, more natural one because it's not so shiny. Okay, next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. And for this, I'm going to use Artistry Studio Power Brow Pen in shade Jeans Chai Latte. Now I'm going to perfect my eyebrows. And I try to make small strokes, as you see, because I want it to be natural. And uh, I want this makeup to be like uh, indetectable, right? So I'm not applying too much. I'm just filling those spaces where I don't have those little hairs. And right here, I'm not uh, accentuating very much. I'm just um, filling 
in with a little bit of shade but I just kind of leave it like like how it is like how it is uh, naturally and I'm putting more, more focus on the the end of the brow hmm? <laughs> okay moving on with the with the eyelids now I'm gonna use this uh, palette from Artistry Studio New York edition and this is in shade Liberty Light on the go palette I like this palette very much because it has all you need for a, a makeup for an everyday makeup it has all these beautiful uh, shades uh, of nudish uh, here this is a compact powder this is a blush and this is an, um, a highlighter and these three shades are for um, for the eyes so uh, first I'm gonna use this uh, this shade all over my eyelids and for this I'm going to use this brush from Zoeva it's um, 228 Lux crease brush and I'm going to apply it all over my lid. This uh, is like that transition shade. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is a pointed brush. It's a 230 Lux pencil from Zoeva. And I'm going to take this shade from here and I'm going to apply it right in the corner of my eyes and a little bit in my crease. Uh, now you see that I have a droppy eyes so uh, what I will do is uh, I will apply it a little bit more higher uh, right uh, beneath my eye bone because if I apply it right there where my uh, eye drops it it's just gonna you will just not see it <laughs> because my uh, my eyelid just drops okay so I'm gonna apply it right here you see here is my bone and I'm gonna apply it right under that bone and in the inner corner of my eyes okay and I try to elongate my eyes taking the product which is left on the brush taking it outside with these little movements mm? till the end of my my brows okay and I'm going to apply the same product just a little bit in the outer corner of my eyes on the lower lash line okay and now I'm taking um, this puffy brush and I'm going to blend those shades in order to have a smooth a gradient um, effect between the two shades so there is no harsh line between them because that's in aesthetic and we want to do that look that kind of tells us that 
kind of tells us nothing. <laughs> As if it weren't there. Now, I'm going to apply this pearly shade. If you can see, it has a little bit of shine. And I'm going to take it with my finger. And I'm going to apply it right on my mobile lid. Just a little bit. To give that shine. And to make my eyeballs pop. And to have that that bigger eyelid effect. You see the difference between the two eyes? Now this looks a, a lot more bigger than this one. I'm going to apply with this pointed brush. I'm going to apply a bit from this highlighter in the inner corner of my eyes. Just a little bit to give that that fresh look, that open eye effect. Okay, the same highlighter, I will apply it right here under my, under my brow line. And then I'm going to apply mascara. This is Artist Studio Gotham Black Mascara. This mascara is pretty special because it has this little thing which rotates. So if you see uh, now, it's, it's an elongated shape. This is for uh, to, gi to give that elongated uh, curve for the lashes. Uh, one little tip, never ever do this with your mascara. It's going to dry in like three weeks. <laughs> never ever do that. If you want to get product uh, on your uh, brush, you do this motion. Right? Like this. Okay. And then do not apply the mascara right on the edge of your your um, lashes because it's not gonna have that effect what you want which you want so apply it right from the base of your lash lashes and give it that zigzag motion to lift those lashes, right? Do you see the difference? Mm -hmm. And this is only the, the lash extension part of the mascara. It has another, another effect. Now on the lower lash line, I will apply a little bit too, because if I don't apply mascara on the lower lash line, I feel that my makeup is not finished. My eyes aren't aren't framed that beautifully. Okay. And now I'm going to I'm gonna rotate this little thing right here and just you can see what happens right here. Okay. The brush became like this puffy brush. Can you see? Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit more product. 
and I'm going to apply it. And this is going to give volume to my lashes. And that's how this mascara has the that 3D, 4D, whatever D you want effect of false lashes. So I don't need false lashes anymore. I have thickness. I have long, long, long lashes. Colossal lashes. I love them. <laughs> Okay, on the lower lash line. Sorry, I just love them. <laughs> and now on the on the other eye too. Oh my god. Don't panic, don't panic. We just leave it to dry and I show you a trick how you can uh, take off that that thing without smudging your your uh, foundation. We can handle this. We can handle this. Yes, yes. Yes, my lady. If you want to be pretty, you have to do anything. All the stuff, all the sacrifice in the world. That's it with mascara. And now I think that this little thing already dried. So I'm going to take a clean spoolie like this. And I'm just going to scrape that thing off of my nose. Very gently. And problem solved. We are going to... Take a brush like this. This is a Moira brush, no name brush, <laughs> but it does the job perfectly. So I'm going to take the highlighter and apply it right on my cheekbone, on the top of my cheekbone, right here. And this is gonna give a very, very pretty sheen. Not that disco ball effect. I don't know if you can see it. I just absolutely love it. That pearly, natural. Effect where the light touches your face. Because I have a pretty small face, I just usually don't use bronzer because I feel that it is too much on my face. Either I use either bronzer or or uh, blush, but today I'm going to use blush because I have a pretty pale face right now. I'm going to apply a little bit on the top, uh, tip of my nose and on the cupid's bow I'm going to use a smaller brush like this and I'm going to apply it on my cupid's bow too just a little bit of highlighter right there and just a teeny tiny amount on my chin as well in fact, I'm going to take this bigger one on my chin because I don't want to have that greasy effect. Artistry Studio 
uh, Bangkok edition is, uh, sorry, Tokyo edition is also cheeky blusher in shade Kimono Nude. And I'm going to apply it just right on the apple of apples of my cheek. I'm not bringing the product outside of it because this is the place where naturally our cheeks blush and I'm going to work it with this brush it's also a Moira brush it's an awning brush but I like it because it is pretty puffy but not too puffy and it blends very naturally that blush on my face. Okay, and now mo moving on to the lips, I am going to use just a little bit of contouring for my lips, and I'm going to use this. Artistry 2-in-1 Matte Lip Crayon, Artistry Studio Tokyo Edition, and it's in shade Spiced Goddess, and it looks like this, and I'm going to use it just to give a teeny tiny shade to my lips. I personally don't like to overline my lips because it looks terrible on me. <laughs> I've tried that because I I uh, would have liked a little bit of more volume on my lips because they are pretty small. But trust me, they just don't look good on me. Okay, and now I'm going to smudge it with a brush. Okay. Or with my fingers to have that natural finish and now I'm going to take this artistry studio um, liquid lip color which is in shade Notre Dame nude it comes like this I just love this color This is the nude color that, uh, with which you just cannot go wrong, okay? And I guess that this color looks, looks good on everybody. Okay, so this is the finished look. Okay guys, it took me like 50 minutes, <laughs> but because I was talking so much, uh, and I was explaining to you what I was using, how I, how I was using it. But if I, uh, I'm not talking and I'm doing it uh, just uh, on a regular basis, I do this makeup like in 10 minutes. And uh, I guess that this makeup makes me feel put together, makes me feel more alive and I guess that you could go even on an official, official event with this makeup. 
if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up uh, if you like my content please subscribe and hit that notification button to get notified every time i post a new video thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video bye bye